Hey everybody, it's Party Elite with another legendary difficulty quest battle. This time we've got Manfred von Karstein fighting a battle at Hell Fen, a battlefield he is all too familiar with considering his past. Note that this battle is done using the preset army from the quest battles menu, and while it's easy to win with sheer numbers, I want to showcase an approach that will give you more than a Pyrrhic victory. If you want to see all quest battles tackled in legendary difficulty, make sure you hit the subscribe button at the bottom right corner of the video. For now, let's get the show started. Arise, grave bound. I command thee to attend. Franz, the son of Hors and Tumorous Burgomeisters, thinks the crown is his. But the house of the Reichland electors is tainted. As the last great Count of Stirland, my claim is the truest. I should be emperor. I will be emperor. Bring thy swords. Go, my minions. Reap death. Dance the dance macabre. So, first things first, we're just going to look at my layout, of course. Uh, it's a little non-traditional for vampire counts, let's say. I've got a pile of zombies here in the center uh, with, no, with no backup, except all the skeleton warriors are actually off to the side here on the left flank. Further to the left flank, I've got the Felbats and the Crypt Ghouls, and all the way on the right, I've got the Skeleton Spearmen and the Vargulf. Now, the intent here is that I know the Reichsguard are going to deploy here. So I've got my anti-cavalry going on over here and the Vargulf for support as well. Now, off to the left flank, I've got the Felbats and the Crypt Ghouls, as I mentioned. They're moving forward first, nice and early, because I want to use the Crypt Ghouls to get some flanking in. I'm going to get them around this obstacle and behind so that their poison can cause some extra, you know, statistical damage. And I can also get that extra morale damage from the rear charges. Meanwhile, the Felbats, they're being sent forward so that they're closer so they can be used for interception nice and early. If range units are firing, if the cavalry decides to get into an important engagement from the rear, I want to have these fell bats easily accessible and right there for quick response. Meanwhile, I have sent the spearmen and the Vargulf forward alongside the zombies soon after this contingent has been sent forward. These guys have the longest distance to go, so the order was given first, and they are running. Meanwhile, I've also got all my zombies running forward, but everybody else will be walking. There's no reason to run. I don't want to kill fatigue. I don't want to reduce leadership in any way that isn't absolutely necessary. You'll notice also that the zombies are progressing in sort of a diagonal formation. If you haven't seen my video on the oblique order, uh, you can click the little eye at the top right corner of this video at the end, and it'll take you to that video. Uh, the oblique order is a nice tactic to use, so I'm trying to get that to happen here. Unfortunately, it doesn't entirely work out, but you can see that this is my strong flank. This is the one I want to win first and try and force the engagements down the line. Uh, now, it doesn't work out, but uh, I will showcase reactionary tactics, of course, when, uh, when an intent doesn't play out properly. So again, everyone's just marching forward slowly, except for my flanking units and, of course, my, uh, my zombies who need the extra rush elements to get them there you know, today, otherwise it'll take them forever. Now, the crossbowmen do open fire as soon as I'm in range, so I do send the Felbats in to engage and prevent that opening fire, because any damage that's done now, as useless as zombies are, uh, for this tactic to work out, I need the front line to actually engage properly. Without that, there is no oblique order. Meanwhile, you'll notice that unfortunately, because of this kind of uh, disorganized movement from the Empire, I'm actually unable to engage the way I wanted to. Also, the obstacle in the middle here, this little bridge, I suppose, uh, doesn't allow me to push forward as intended, so some of these zombie units are actually being uh, redirected, and that puts me into a bit of a back foot situation. Meanwhile, Manfred, who has arrived here nice and early because he was running, drops an overcast spirit leech onto Hans here, just to cause that early damage. Again, the name of the game with vampire counts, more often than not, in my books at least, is morale damage. I want to frighten and terrify these units as quickly as possible. Now, you'll notice these Reichsguard dive right into this unit of zombies here, and that gives me a great opportunity to respond with these Skeleton Spearmen. So right away I push these Spearmen in, I want to get that uh, flanking maneuver in, get the damage from behind. Unfortunately I leave the Vargulf behind for just a little bit too long, I should have sent him in as well, but uh, all is not lost. The Spearmen are going to do great work against these Reichsguard units. Meanwhile the Felbats, they've been pushed forward again to hit these crossbowmen, because I want to make sure they're not able to get any trickle damage in. 
You'll notice here as well, on the left flank, I'm still trying to push forward with the skeletons. I am a little bit on the back foot because things didn't work out how I wanted to, but I dropped Don Smacabre and that helps make sure that I'm still getting the advantage uh, from that extended or that increased melee attack. I send Manfred in to attack Hans right away. I send these skeleton warriors over to attack these spearmen to prevent them from getting rear charges in. And I've got these skeleton warriors pushing away, peeling away, and attacking these swordsmen from behind. So I do get a rear charge bonus in there, and I do get that morale damage, and just that extra damage from, you know, <laughs> them not just fighting zombies. Meanwhile, you'll notice the Vargulf did come in here, and I'm sort of forcing the Empire's hand now. Off to the back, the Crypt Ghouls are being sent in, and the first thing I'm gonna take care of is actually these hand gunners. They can cause a lot of trouble for me. Meanwhile, in the center, once again, you'll notice that uh, between Manfred and Hans, I've got a lot of damage going down on Hans, and that Spirit Leech is doing a lot to, uh, to help my cause. Like I said, I want to get rid of Hans as soon as possible, I want to cause morale damage, and this is why I'm focusing so much down over here. Meanwhile, you'll notice the Vargulf was pulled away from this situation over here. Uh, not too concerned about the cavalry, I felt like the spearmen had them trapped in quite nicely. And you'll notice actually, because of how I laid them out, even though the uh, the unit is retreating, they're managing to get away, a large chunk of them have been caught by my spearmen, so they're going to be an easy target. They're not fighting right now, and instead they're pinned down by two units of skeleton spearmen, uh, i.e. their counter. So that's worked out great for me. Meanwhile, in the center here, even though I had zombies engaging at first, just because they don't rout, even though they're crumbling, I have a great front line, more or less holding here, with the skeleton warriors, as few of them as there were, uh, able to come in and assist. Now you'll notice, of course, Hans does die, so I have that morale damage happening, and just in time the Vargulf dives in as well. So you'll notice that with that rear charge, the damage to HP, that shock damage, and the death of the uh, the commander, these three units are terrified away. And all they were fighting were zombies, mainly zombies, and so uh, that was quickly taken care of. And then I pull the Vargulf over to this flank over here and start terrifying these two units as well. So everyone is now terrified and running away, except for this unit of spearmen, to whom I send in Manfred. So, you know, they're going to start routing pretty soon as well. And the cavalry that are currently routing, but they're not terrified, so they might just come back. So overall, this battle is already won. All I need to do is just keep chase. As I've mentioned before, if you don't chase terrified units, they will rally and they will come back. And just looking around the field, you can see that I didn't need to cause a lot of damage whatsoever. Most of these units are actually mostly alive. If you consider uh, their health bars, you can see they're not entirely damaged, they're not nearly dead. It's just their morale was broken, and that's why they're all terrified and running. So the first thing I do is I make sure I'm chasing all these units down uh, including these handgunners off to the side here. I want to route them off the field. If they start rallying, then everything I fought to accomplish here would be wasted. Off to the back here, though, these Reichsguard have recovered. They have rallied, and now they're trying to pick a fight with these spearmen. It's not going to be the best situation for the Reichsguard, of course. They are countered by spearmen. Um, however, anything that uh, the Empire tried now would fall flat. So you'll see the Reichsguard engage for maybe a handful of seconds and then they start to rout as well and the entire army is shattered in a matter of a handful of minutes. I did not need to fight for very long, I didn't need to kill too many people, and there you have it. A close victory that was made entirely possible by very basic flanking and one of my favorite traits, terror. As with the previous quest battle, make sure you're setting your troops up for success. Use them how they're meant to be used, and don't underestimate the power of magic. With Dans Macabre, a couple of skeleton warriors, and mainly zombies, I was able to make this victory a close victory as opposed to the more commonly seen Pyrrhic victory. Now, I have seen some requests for specific quest battles, and they'll be coming very soon. I'm starting with the Vampire Counts in honor of the month of Halloween, and I'll start tackling requests soon after, so make sure you drop them in the comments below, and as always, make sure you subscribe to this channel for more Total War content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon on our next battlefield.